uh, let us move to the session four. I mean the lecture four. Lecture four of UHV two talks about uh, the role of education. Uh, the content is holistic development and uh, the role of education in holistic development. Uh, just a uh, you know, quick revise, revision of whatever we discussed till now uh, to take it for the further uh, interactions, questions, and uh, getting clarity. So, you know, we had this two sets of questions in the introductory workshop. You want to be happy, you want to be prosperous, you want to have the continuity of happiness and prosperity. So I guess there is no doubt about it. But uh, this last question of the set two is important for each one of us now. Is there continuity of happiness and prosperity? The gap is there. Why is the gap? And then what are we, you know, doing to uh, fulfill this gap. So if anybody would like to respond on this three question, why the gap is there? Is it getting wider or filled up? And what are we doing to fulfill it? Maybe you can come here. Sandhya Saviji. Namaste, sir. Namaste. Namaste. Sir, uh, I would like to answer in this manner. Many a times, uh, we are not aware what we want. That is the first thing. And the uh, the reasoning and upbringings which we have been thought given since from childhood are so uh, so much strong enough that uh, we tend to forget uh, what is right and wrong at individual level. जो the back side पे the back back end पे जो हमारे thought process है वो इतने strong हो चुके हैं कि बहुत बार हम ये सोचना ही बंद कर देते हैं कि ये सही है या वो सही है and then Sandhya ji let's come on the English please because yeah 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 okay participants may not be able to follow in the yes and secondly many times we define our definition of happiness situation based if this happens this will be happening if that happens that will be happening we have enhanced to our uh, needs to greedy level to this extent that uh, we uh, ourselves have forgot to the basic what we actually require and we just keep on running thinking that the next stage will give us the happiness where we are looking more into the materialistic aspects of it uh, and we are doing let let's add a little bit to this this may give us the uh, something extra this may give us the, something extra and that uh, needs to the uh, that unvicious uh, round of a cycle we can say where we actually uh, tend to forget that what exactly we want so if we sit calmly and try to find out what exactly we want then we uh, we eventually come to know we are uh, unnecessarily running behind the very wrong things and uh, i think so covid 19 was one of the example where it was a real eye opener what actually human being uh, wants to be a happy life to lead to a happy life uh, this is from my side sir very nice so like let us take sandhya's uh, you know uh, input as everybody's input and i uh, try to sum up in few lines and see whether it's same for each one of us there is a gap there is a gap and the gap is there because i am not able to understand what is the true meaning of happiness and prosperity so i have certain assumptions about happiness with that assumptions i am putting lot of efforts to make myself happy but my assumptions are not matching with the reality of what happiness is and that is the reason i'm unhappy is that okay can we say like this is it yes, the same sir. case yes, yes thank sir. you yes so is it the same case for you all nice so that's the same case for each one of us you know i unless i get the clarity on what what is the meaning of true happiness i would not be able to make myself happy because the efforts whatever i am doing maybe 
in a right direction or maybe my efforts may go in vain if they are not for the continuity of happiness and just for the excitement. So we need to revisit and re-looked into the efforts what we are spending to make myself you know, happy. So three things are important. The true meaning of happiness. Number two, my current efforts. And number three, you know, my current state. So when we look into these three things, we'll be able to see that whether the gap is increasing or decreasing. If it is minimizing, then why it is minimizing? If it is getting wider, then why it is getting up wider? And such exploration would help us to make a program for ourselves, you know, to decide a program for ourselves to make us continuous happy. This is another conclusion we drew in the uh, earlier uh, discussions that the physical facility is necessary for each one of us, but uh, relationship is also necessary. And uh, most of the time, we are unhappy within, or the unhappiness in the family is due to the lack of fulfillment in relationship. So time to check and recheck again that this is the cause. Then have I really working on understanding relationship and fulfilling relationship? Or most of the times, I focus on physical facility with an assumption that the physical facility alone would make me happy. So maybe anybody would like to share the reflections on it? Yeah. Yes, Ravindra Kumar Rauji. Uh, uh, the, the same thing actually. The, the, if I do not uh, uh, understand the, the true meaning of happiness, the basic desire uh, of my, my, as a human being, what I need, uh, so the, uh, then I will, I will definitely I will live with unhappiness because I, I, I will be uh, always thinking that I am lacking something, I am lacking with physical facility, and I will be depending upon others. I will compare it with others, and my relationship. Uh, will not be guided with, uh, I, I, I will not see the relationship or, or no, I'm definitely there will be lack of fulfillment in the relationship. So basically, nice. uh, the, the unhappiness is, uh, is there. Sir, one question is there, sir. Uh, yes. To the previous session, sir, because uh, oh, just uh, it was uh, like uh, excitement and happiness. Can I ask a question? Because excitement, can I say that uh, excitement is a indication of uh, happiness? Uh, because sometimes we feel uh, excited uh, some uh, some 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 sorts of uh, functions or any say for example the attending the session also uh, sometimes we are excited to look uh, to listen to the contents and that that is a indication of uh, yeah, maybe in a, may, may not be it is a continuous but it is an indication of, uh, of happiness uh, is it so sir are you in harmony when you are excited uh, yeah, yeah. yes I, I i was thinking in a because I, it's a positive sense i am thinking that i am for uh, say uh, to approaching to the the, 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 the positive aspect of, of, of the happiness. So uh, I am definitely, I am thinking about the harmony. So uh, I was thinking that uh, over excitement is something I say, it is a feeling. So that uh, excitement is again, uh, that just I can say that it is over excitement. Sometimes the people jump and laugh and uh, with it. But it is a inner feeling that if I feel that it is, it is a, uh, going with, a, with harmony, so can I say that this is a, a indication of uh, happiness? Let us observe a very small things, you know, like for example, you're posting something on the Facebook and how the people are commenting on it, right? If uh, majority of the people are uh, saying you, wow, what a nice post you have posted, it's very important, you know, what no, sort yes. of, are we stable with them? No, sir. In that case, they definitely not stable. It's over excitement or excitement. I can say that. So, so, so we need to observe. You know, each such sort of excitement. Ah, yes, sir. Am I in harmony with it? And then, with such sort of excitement, can I be able to continue? Right. What no. will happen if I if I continue with that state of excitement? Will I be able to continue with that with the state of excitement? 
then we see that excitement cannot be continued. For example, anger, you cannot be angry all the time, every moment. Right? Yes, so, just, so I, I, so just a minute, let me complete. So excitement itself is a momentary, but I want to have a continuity of happiness. So with that momentary things, can those momentary things be an indications or the starting point of you know, the continuity of happiness? This is something we, you need to observe within yourself. Yes, sir. Yes. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Let me say, Pallavi Siddhi. I just wanted to reflect uh, on if I have the right understanding and uh, my desires are in line with natural acceptance, uh, then I uh, surely think for everything. Like uh, we do uh, want happiness and uh, we also want that happiness in continuity. But uh, And we also need to ensure that does my happiness um, depend on others or it is from within basically. So whatever the situation outside may be, uh, I should be desiring harmony uh, from within and then only I will be happy irrespective of the situation. So uh, this is actually, I feel the process of uh, self-exploration and uh, as Bahia was earlier uh, talking about excitement, so um, Actually, excitement is uh, uh, something which is a uh, uh, temporary happiness from outside. Uh, when it leads to excitement, we are really, we feel happy. And uh, um, and we when we don't get it, as you said, uh, if I don't get uh, likes for my Facebook page or something, I really don't feel happy. So, uh, and uh, to escape from ha unhappiness, then uh, actually we dwell into overeating or over uh, sleeping or uh, drugs or suicidal uh, thoughts come in. So somewhere uh, that uh, my self-esteem is being hurt. So for happiness and harmony within, we need to be in the state of uh, realization of uh, the right understanding at all levels of uh, being uh, 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 human being at, at all levels, at individual level, family level, at uh, the societal and nature. Uh, that's what my I feel. All right, life city, life city. So uh, let us take an act activity, an activity of listing down uh, when we say I am happy and then categorizing it, whether it was an excitement or happiness. And let us see how many times we are excited and how many times we are you know, happy. We are in the state of harmony. Uh, uh, a rough percentage can be given in the chat box. Let us say out of 100 times, 100%, 100 percent, uh, how many percentage I am in a state of excitement. So that percentage you can just give in the chat box. And I request the poll team that uh, you take a call whenever you want to launch a poll you can please go ahead. Please go ahead. So the poll team, whenever you want to launch a poll, you can go ahead. You can take your call today. Thank you. So this is important, right? That the relationships makes me happy, but without understanding what relationship is, I cannot be happy. So that understanding part is important. So how much time and efforts we are investing for understanding what relationship is and how much time and efforts we are investing for accumulation of physical facility because both the relationship and physical facility both are necessary for us and as a result you know we are not being able to invest uh, time to understand the relationship these fights are there. And in fact, the incidences of reaction, not speaking to the other, arguments, debates, divorce are increasing. Just recall, had this, had this similar things has happened even in the recent past, let us say yesterday, had I gone through a, uh, you know, a situation of uh, um, 
ignoring someone or had i gone through a situation of like avoiding not speaking the, the you know that someone who is in my family had it happened yesterday had it happened this morning a day before yesterday so these arguments the debates you know, they are increasing they are decreasing and with my increasing efforts of understanding relationship will it be decrease or not so slowly and gradually when we understand the relationship we will be able to you know live with uh, it otherwise although we have recognized the importance of relationship but without understanding what relationship is it may not be possible to fulfill it and that's the reason our own pers perspectives about the relationship is important have i pursued that there is a survival of a test do i believe in struggle for the survival or am i able to see that the lack of feeling of relationship causes the struggle in the relationship you know we talked about that example of a roti and uh, a room and a mother and child in the introductory workshop so even there is one roti or one dosa to consume and there are two people the one is physically stronger mother and the physically weaker child so mother has this feeling of relationship so she nurtures she thinks of nurturing the child whenever there is a feeling of relationship we thinks of nurturing let us say in the classroom there are 60 students possibility that out of 60 student we are able to identify our relationship with few of them so with those few won't you take a continuous efforts to nurture them let us see in our family let us see when you know when when we are walking outside all the walks of our life you are walking on a street you feel related to someone you try to nurture someone you don't feel related to someone then even driving on a road you want to you know go ahead of the other person and if the other's vehicle is just few meters ahead of you you start getting that irritation you start feeling that uh, struggle within you does it happening or not so each of such sort of our thoughts our behavior when we verify looked within then we will be able to understand that whether my perceptions are struggle for survival or my perceptions is for the relationship or in my perception i have this feeling of opposition so these are you know one is our desirable state which is always there same for all and which always leading to the harmony but the second is our current state so the more and more we do the evaluation of current state with our natural acceptance would help us to develop the competency to live with our desirable state so let us check for yourself what you pursue in your day to day life there is a struggle or there is harmony so such sort of exploration within would help us to develop this right understanding within and with this right understanding you know we will be able to see that every moment we are living with relationship we want to live with the feeling of relationship whether you understand relationship or you don't understand relationship you are living because the relatedness and connectedness is there we are the part of the earth we are the part of the nature we are one of the order of the nature you, if you understand you are in harmony if you don't understand still you are the part of the nature but you are in disharmony this is the only difference with the right understanding i would be able to see that i want to live with the feeling of relationship with every human being 
and i also wants to ensure my relationship with every single unit of rest of the three orders like material bio and animals and birds and with that right understanding only i can fulfill that feeling of relationship so are we really able to see that right understanding is priority number 1 or unknowingly it becomes priority number 3 for me so that continuous evaluation of our current state with our naturally acceptable state would able to take us to those answers and such exploration when we keep to in front of our student then we don't you know pose ourselves as a teacher but then we always have a clarity that i am also a co-explorer i am also exploring within myself whether right understanding has i mean it it seems to be me the priority number 1 but had it really become priority number 1 for me or not so you know we can go explore the proposal while placing to the students we can place this proposal in the forms of uh, i mean we can place the content in the forms of proposal so what you think out of this three which is priority number 1 number 2 and number 3 for you so which has to be priority number 1 2 and 3 for you and which is priority number 1 and 2 for two and three for you so this exploration is required between our desirable state and our current state yes prabhakaran ji has his hand raised sir i raised a uh, for the previous content uh, ji not now now the now i understood the right understanding is the first priority uh, followed by relationship and then physical facility Very nice. Thank you. So in the previous lecture four, uh, you said that the unhappiness in our family more due to lack of physical facility or more due to lack of fulfillment in relationship. Yeah, both I am able to understand uh, is there. But before that, I was about to uh, share that maybe due to lack of understanding, right understanding within. so this may be may cause the happiness in our family also though it is going to affect self initially to begin with then finally it affects uh, uh, the family also the unhappiness is established within a family because of uh, the lack of right understanding within so that's what i was about to share and then uh, uh, raise in my hand previously ji now you are very clear <laughs> yeah pravagar bhaiya wonderful thank you and uh, uh, thank you for this that exploration uh, you know the unhappiness in my family is due to the lack of right understanding in me yeah yes this is this is the reality basic basic, um, basic. this is this is the re- this is the basic reality right i am yeah. not able to ensure this right understanding within me within that me. is the reason yeah. i am not able to live in a harmony within me that is Correct. the reason i am not able to live in harmony with the family so the yeah, unhappiness okay. in my family is due to the lack of right understanding within me yeah. nice conclusion yeah ji yeah. thank you thank you very clear thank you yeah. professor sunita chanji professor sunita ji hello uh, am i yes. audible sir am i audible yes very very clear uh, yeah. yeah actually i completely agree with you um i think that if i am myself not in a state of harmony then uh, how can i ensure harmony in my family or with my colleagues so first of all i should be myself in a complete state of harmony and that will always ensure me to be in a state of continuous happiness and uh, um actually this is not very easy but each and every moment myself i am trying to be always in that complete state of harmony and this workshops these uh, 
refresher courses they have helped in a lot way in a good way to me to do that yeah. that's so nice to hear otherwise unnecessary we kept on blaming the others right yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. and and you know we kept blaming the other we kept uh, you know we we it, it, we tried our level best to improve the other yes but yes. now each one of us is able to see that i am responsible for my happiness yes. and i am responsible to ensure the harmony in the uh, in the family so then yes. we keep focusing on ourselves Yes, in exactly. the process of in the process of focusing on ourselves, we could be the also the help to the others. See, this is the shift which each one of us is witnessing from our introductory workshop to the refresher part two workshop. Sorry. Now, between the introductory workshop and the refresher part two workshops, each one of us are busy with the volunteering, with the weekly follow up meetings. We are we have done this refresher part one. We are exploring within. so so much of intensive exploration and becoming aware of ourselves is with that we are able to make this shift yes but the shifts are there you know each one of us is going through that process of transformation and this transformation is visible yes important things to understand that it is taking time for me yes so similarly the students will not take everything in one work, one lecture yes exactly obviously one session right Yes, so sir. it's it's only we need to help student in their process of exploration yes rather imposing things on them so when they would start exploring within themselves they will also able to develop this right understanding within them and with this right understanding you no know, living with human being and the rest of the nature with the feeling of relationship could leads to fulfillment of their basic aspiration of happiness and prosperity because it is working for me it may work for them yes sir thank you nirmala ji sir for sir good morning sir good morning uh, for the past 3 years uh, i am handling sir uh, by imposing this uh, uh, concepts uh, right understanding and then uh, not involved in accumulating only physical facility all these things the students are uh, taking in the right sense uh, and uh, we are uh, finding the change in them first they know how to respect and then how they are uh, behaving they become responsible actually this is very very required and uh, immense part uh, to inculcate that uh, human values in my own experience also last uh, or three years uh, i was uh, uh, more and more uh, involved uh, in this uh, particularly human values classes for so, uh, 10 days uh, induction classes also we are taking in our college and uh, <clears throat> i am handling for the students uh in my personal experience in my family life also i can able to find uh, uh, right understanding and uh, there is uh, no arguments and uh, i'm feeling happy in each and uh, every part uh, any problem is coming also i am able to uh, cope up and understand uh, it is really a very nice course uh, uh, i i need i need this thing to be continued for all the till from the school also you are initiated you are taking no sir that is actually hats off to your uh, act sir thank you sir all right thank you yeah so this is important thing right see there are two different statement the one statement is right understanding is very important and you must have it the statement to is right understanding important for you right what do you think that which of these two statement would help student to develop their understanding is the second so that exploration when we continue keep doing within ourselves we develop our understanding and uh, you know it's the same process for the students also and with such exploration as we are able to reach to the conclusion that unknowingly we have made physical facility as number 1 with an assumption that it would make us happy we are able to you know achieve many things we may have accumulated physical facility but the question marks on the relationship and right understanding remained as it is because the physical facility alone doesn't suffice the need of human being you know for the human being this right understanding relationship and physical facility all these three are required but such sort of assumption uh, that the physical facility is alone enough you know 
for the animals yes it is largely adequate and enough but for the human being is not and that is what the living with animal consciousness but each one of us you know wants to excel ourselves don't you we want to excel in our life so what that excellence would means it means living with the human consciousness having this right understanding relationship and physical facility in the set priority order which leads to mutual happiness and mutual prosperity so are we able to see that having this right understanding relationship and physical facility in the set priority order if i am able to have this continuously in the set priority order i would be able to live with happiness and prosperity and the continuity of this can be possible and this is going to happen in the self by the self and this is happening in the self by the self yes tipadi uh yes sir uh, sir actually i wanted to share something here yes uh my experience with uhv has been you know what because um, there after uh, after almost one and a half years is when i started being totally aware of the choices i was making and i started digging a little deep into why those choices were being made it felt really good to be aware of it and being able to see what on what basis you are exercising your choices but then came a phase where i started expecting this from others and i try to explain things to them like there's a dialogue happening i'm helping them through it when i don't see the change that is uh, I, i don't see them giving that kind of importance to that content or the concept somewhere i felt disappointed so i could see this chakra that i was becoming a part of where within myself i could feel the harmony but i was somewhere expecting that harmony to be reinforced by the outside source as well so today after almost 3 years i feel that i'm able to at least understand that uh, that chakra of expectation is there that awareness somewhere has been able to make me a little more harmonious within myself so i do feel when you mention process i think there is a lot of uh, going ahead then there is a relapse there's a entire roller coaster ride to it it's not a very simple process from my personal experience uh, but i do believe it is worth it because at least now i feel a little more conscious and aware of the things that i do so somewhere that uh, has really helped that's what i wanted to share very nice you think very nice so if it is happening with you with the process of exploration within and it may happen to the other with the process of exploration in themselves and what we could do we could only be the help for them right True, whether yeah. whether to explore or not whether to listen or not it is their <laughs> own rights correct but sometimes Absolutely. what happens you know when the moment from the proposition we go to the imposition we are in disharmony and that is basically causes the issues so with this we can understand that the expectations are natural but the expectations of fulfillment of every expectations that causes a disharmony yeah, that's beautifully put sir yeah yes okay so with this you know we are able to see that uh, like the the way we are exploring within ourselves uh, we are getting into the harmony and the human beings living with the harmony is fine similarly the animals living in the harmony is also fine but what is the problem is human being living with disharmony with it human being living with the animal consciousness so human being can be live with the human consciousness with the with having this clarity so to live with the human consciousness you know this human education is required human education can support to understand the human consciousness and develop the capacity to live with human consciousness otherwise what is happening today you know when we see the society generally there are two category of the human being lacking physical facility unhappy and deprived people are literally living you know Uh, in the gutter in the drainage or just next to the drainage people are living in the pipeline pipes people are living in the shelters where the rain drops directly goes on the floor you know people are living in a place where they, uh, there is no nutritious and nurturing food available they are not having enough clothes to protect the body 
they are unhappy and depressed. At the same time, there are there's a second category of the people having physical facility, living in the big Bangalore's, living in the five star, seven star category deluxe hotel. It, all sort of modern things are there. Luxury, comfort is there. Uh, they are on the job. They are getting salary. Good investment. Everything is there. Enough clothes to, you know, put on the body. Enough things to nurture the body. Everything is almost in excess and extra. But still, so much of problems in the relationship. So much of disharmony within. So having physical facility, unhappy and deprived. Two categories of the people are there. Now let us check for ourselves. Am I in category one? Am I in category two? Or am I satisfied with in category one and two? Or I have third, want to move to some third category. And that is having physical facility, happy and prosperous. So where are we now and where we want to be? This exploration would also help us to understand that this is desirable for me. If I'm in category one or if I'm in category two, from there, it is desirable for me to get into the category number three, having physical facility, happy and prosperous. So for that, essentially two things are required, to understand what is happiness, to understand what is prosperity. So the right understanding is required. So the transformation from the current state to the desirable state, which is going to happen in the self by the self. So are we ensuring this transformation in our family, in our classroom, or largely in our family, in our classrooms, in the society, we are focusing on development, expansion, accumulation of more and more physical things. And even with this accumulation of more and more physical things, are we able to fulfill our basic aspiration? So is this development? Or the development would mean developing in right understanding and relationship along with the physical facility. Living with the animal consciousness, is this what is desirable for me? Or living with the human consciousness, is this what is desirable for me? If living with the human consciousness is desirable for me, and if it is also desirable for others, then are we taking efforts for that? And whose responsibility is this? At least for myself, is this mine responsibility? or the responsibility of the other. So I can see that this is my responsibility for myself. And by sharing this responsibility of developing within myself, I can also be a help to the other in their development through education. So education has an important role to play. It's not to prepare the students for the job. It's not prepared students to, you know, have the luxurious and comfortable things around. But it also, to help students to have this right understanding, right feelings within, so that the each one of us, every child, will be able to live in the harmony with it. It, education is more about you know, developing these feelings of relationship with the children so that they will be able to live with this, with the family, with their parents, siblings, brothers, sisters, friends, teachers, nicely, a fulfilling life, you know, without making problems for the others or too much troubles for the others. In fact, what we all we want from the life very simple things we want. We want to be in a harmony. We want to live with everybody, you know, with the feeling of relationship. 
We want to ensure the health of our body. We also want to have this physical facility, which is, you know, more than our need. These are the things we need to have from our life. These are our expectations. These are my expectations. This is your expectations. This is, these are the universal expectations of everyone. So education has this important role to play, to develop the competency wherein each one of us will be able to live with human consciousness and definite contact. Education has this responsibility to enable this transformation. And that is what UHU2 is focusing on. So we saw this universal one content, the universal two, UHV2 content goes in little depth with more gra gravity so that we would be help to all our students to develop this right understanding within themselves, to have the capacity to live with feeling of relationship and the capacity to identify the need of physical facility and the skills and practices for sustainable production of more than what is required. But now important question is that, if I do not have this capacity, will I be able to ensure this capacity in others as a teacher? If I am missing, you know, the right understanding is, is missing in myself. If I don't, put efforts for understanding relationship and live in relationship. If I am not able to do the assessment of my required physical facility, will I be able to share it with my students? So that's the reason in the morning session, you know, when Rajiv Bhaiya was talking about the overview of UHV2, this workshop is, you know, our preparation to take the content to our student. So basically our preparation, right? With our own preparation and development only, we can take this content to the students. So I personally develop within myself and through personal development and the personal transformation, I could be the help for the others to develop as a team. And through the team, the society can transform. So we have this aspiration of societal transformation, which can be and which is going to fulfill by personal transformation. So are you able to see to it that the societal transformation is not possible without my personal transformation? If I don't transform, the society cannot be transformed. I am a part of society. I am a part of family. If I don't be able to live with harmony, the harmony cannot maintain in the family. So the basic efforts is required is for this self-transformation. So this through human education, through these proposals, and when we keep exploring these proposals within ourselves, you know, developing ourselves to live with this human consciousness, identifying the values that is valuable for us, what is my participation. And with such, you know, our conduct, our character becomes ethical. So the UHV2 focuses on these two things, you know, the understanding human being and understanding the ethical conduct. And for that, all that what we need to do is understand the harmony from myself, family, society, nature, and existence. So the content of UHV2 goes in the depth of understanding harmony in the human being, family, society, nature, and existence. So the module two, it talks on human being, module three, family, module four, you know, the society and the module five, nature and existence. So these are the five important modules with, uh, I guess, 29 lectures uh, in this course. So as we understand the harmony, we can live with it. And this is the whole expanse of our living. 
individual, family, society, nature, and existence. And this, are you able to see very interesting thing? The moment you are able to have this right understanding and right feelings within yourself, then at all the expense of your being, you lose in harmony. You don't have to take an extra effort for that. You know, it's not that ki, I live in harmony first and then only the second step is I'll be able to live in the family with harmoniously. It's not that. Every moment I'm living from myself to the whole existence. So the, every moment if I'm able to ensure this understanding within, I will be able to live with you know, harmony outside at all the expense of my being. So education is basically understanding development of this understanding and the sanskar means development of this preparing for living through the practice and the preparations and the commitment and that is what the human consciousness is and we can see the societal implications of human consciousness as undivided society and universal human order now when you when we go take on this lecture some of the questions are there like if we all become happy, <laughs> development will stop, isn't it? Because we are so much of concern about development. So let us raise the hand who want to take on this question. I'm lowering down, uh, lowering all the hands and, uh, with your line. Yeah, none of the hand is being risen now. I have lowered down all the hands. You can fresh. Uh, yes. Sadhan Bhaiya. Sadhan Kumar Devaya, what will happen to the development? You can unmute yourself. You're muted. Yes, sir. Yes. Am I what will happen? Yes, yes. Yes, sir. Sir, you see, directly there is no, you know, bar to development if we are happy. Rather, development only with reference to physical facility is a precondition of our happiness. Why? Because we have to develop our right understanding and right feeling. So if we are to develop right feeling and right understanding and our development, the definition of development is uh, pertaining to that only. Development only in regard to physical facility, we are not ex expecting over here. We are expecting a holistic development. And that should be ensured only with the development of right understanding and right feeling. So I think yeah. uh, that would answer clearly that development will never stop. Rather, it will be the stepping stone of everything if we yeah. want to be happy. Yeah, very nice. So the development, you know, the true meaning of development over here, over there, and over everywhere is the same. Exactly, sir. And that is, you know, the development of this understanding, feelings, and physical facility, these three things together. Exactly. So by becoming happy, each one of us will develop. Right? So the development will not stop. But in fact, we will ensure development by becoming happy. Thank you. And the second question, uh, I think physical facility is most basic and important <clears throat> human need, even Maslow's hierarchy of needs puts physical facility needs at the base. Many times, you know, uh, children have this sort of questions because uh, they studied different theories, different philosophies, and they like to understand because the confusion takes place. Throughout the education, they kept uh, hearing this, that the Self-actualization is the last need of human being and the basic need is physical facility. Then comes you know, all these first interpersonal relationships, safety, security, and all. So for all such kind of question, uh, if you know, we are getting from the students, uh, what would be uh, you know, our answer? Yeah. Deepa Didi, would you like to try? Yes, sure, sir. I think there's a very good reason why Maslow talks about uh, physical needs at the base, because end of the day, as we have discussed, there are needs of self and needs of body as well. For you to practice something, the body also has to be healthy. 
uh, the fact that even Maslow then moves on to the higher level of consciousness shows that the self also needs to be nurtured. And since we said in the beginning itself that the body will practice what you make it practice. So empowering something that becomes the guiding force becomes important. Hence, while physical facility is really important, it is important that it is guided by the right understanding and a self which is conscious and is able to look at a growth on a larger picture. So that way it could be addressed is what I felt. Yeah, very nice. Very nice. I mean, we, we see this mass, we have this Maslow's theory of uh, hierarchy based on the needs. And we also have our own natural acceptance, our own innate things. So let us see even a two years old baby, the need of the physical facility is there, but the need of understanding is also not there, is there or not there. The need of relationship is also there or it's not there. If the two years baby is able to communicate, doesn't that two years baby keep asking you questions after questions, even when there is need of food or when there is not need of food? So we can see yes. that the need of right understanding and right feeling is basically the basic need for the human being. And with that, uh, you know, if we do that uh, Maslow's cone downward up, then it would suit to the uh, fulfillment of the basic aspiration. So that way, you know, we can see that the need of the self is continuous need and the need of the body is a temporary need. So the continuous need is my basic need. Thank you. Yes. Uh, for a person dying, hunger, dying of hunger, what is the priority? The first priority. Chandana Didi. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Can you hear me? Yes. Uh, sir, for a person who is starving or dying of hunger, first priority will be filling his stomach. Correct, okay. no, sir? Uh, uh, hello? Oh. <laughs> yes. Yeah, see, yeah, sir, you can check, you can yeah. check within yourself, even yes. if you are starving. Yes. Right? Dying out of, uh, dying of hunger. Yes. Even at that particular moment of time, this yes. need of respect is there or not? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> all, all those attributes, yes. But uh, sir... Uh, and and, and, uh, and uh, even when you are dying of hunger, yes, this need of right understanding is there or not? Yes, to yes. Collect the food. Yeah, trying to understand that he or the other mutual person is hungry. Yeah, that itself I mean, is a right understanding. Correct, no, yeah, sir? I mean, you are, you are dying of hunger. Yes. And there's a poisonous food. Yes. So this right understanding is required even at that particular time of, of hunger. time or not. Yes. Yes, sir. So, yes, sir. So we sir. can see that, yes, uh, there's a sens heavy sensation of hunger. Yes. So from the body. But even that point of time also, this right mm. understanding and right feeling. It's the first priority. It's first priority. Okay. Sir, uh, one more thing. Uh, I have a question, sir, here. I now... Uh, you a question later? Uh, uh, okay, sir. Okay. With your permission, thank you. Okay, sir. Okay, thank you. Yeah. So, you know, uh, this is basically the uh, lecture number four, role of education and holistic development. Of course, you know, whenever we interact in the workshop, uh, the time is always constant. And uh, 